Good morning and welcome. It is a beautiful day here. For those of you that may be catching me for the first time, I am Beverly Holloway, also known as the Inspirational Life Guru. I am a spiritual teacher, spiritual wellness practitioner, and transition coach on a mission to inspire as many of you as I possibly can towards discovering your divine purpose. That's number one. I act as a catalyst to help you get jump started and moving in the right direction. It is also my passion to help people to navigate their way through life changes and transitions. And as many of you know, uh, we are definitely collectively going through a major, major transition. Um, it's actually a great awakening. People are waking up to truth. And so those of you that have followed me for a while, you know that I'm all about being authentic, all about being true. And so today I'm actually going to be talking about being authentic. And I'm going to be sharing with you five ways um, to become authentic. And so I just want to kind of touch on that. Excuse me if I'm looking down. I'm going to be looking at my notes here to make sure I don't forget about anything and don't get on a tangent. Uh, but I, I want to start out um, by really talking about what it is to be authentic. Number one, being authentic is knowing thyself. We've heard that phrase, know thyself. And so in order to be authentic, you have to know yourself. You, um, Another um, definition for being authentic, I've got a couple of things that are jotted down here. One thing is being undisputed undisputed that means that when it comes to you no one can dispute who you are I say all the time and I know it may sound a little bit cocky a little bit arrogant uh, but I always say I'm like Muhammad Ali there's just nobody that can out touch me there's nobody that can beat me at what I do and that's the confidence that Muhammad Ali had. He was undisputed. He called himself the greatest. And so I have had people uh, come on my social media pages, um, especially Facebook. Facebook can be really brutal, okay? Instagram, it's different. I haven't had certain problems there on Instagram, but when it comes to Facebook, I've had a lot of people hop on my page. I may make a post, think it out loud. Um, it's my page, it has my name on it. So I can say within reason, whatever it is that I wanna say, um, you know, as long as it's, it's not against compliance uh, regulations where I'll get kicked off of social media or kicked off Facebook. Like yesterday I made a post didn't even make a post. I made a comment on someone else's page, said, I am determined to defend my truth or to fight for freedom or something I said. And they put a little alert on my account um, saying that I had gone against the rules. So you could either check, I agree or disagree. Well, I disagree with that because what's wrong with me saying that I am determined that I'm gonna fight and demand well, I don't know if I used the word fight. It was demand my freedom. I have that right to demand my freedom. But getting back to being authentic and being undisputed, um, I always say I'm the greatest at what I do. There's nobody that can get on my social media page and try and out top me or interject their opinions and be rude on my particular page because you're gonna get shot down. I mean, each and every time, I always say, and I know it sounds cocky, but hey, just like Muhammad Ali, I'm like, look, I will stand toe to toe with any man, woman, boy, or girl, any children, cheering, they call them cheering sometimes. <laughs> um, but anyway, I will stand toe to toe with anyone when it comes to my truth, when it comes to who I am, um, authentically, I will stand for truth because I understand who I am. I understand my beliefs and my values, and there's no one that can touch that because those come from within here. So that's one way of, or one definition of being authentic.
Another one is being accurate, being reliable. It's important to have your facts straight, you know, really know what you're talking about because you're going to have people that are going to try to outwit you or inject their opinions or whatever, or they may have information that maybe you haven't really researched. So, hey, I've learned to just keep your mouth shut, you know, until you really know what you're talking about. But being authentic has to do with being reliable. It has to do with being genuine. Um, it has to be, uh, it has to do with being bona fide. It means um, fully trustworthy. I love this one. Fully trustworthy. Can people trust you? That's a question that you have to answer, ask yourself because other people don't know unless they've interacted with you before and you haven't been trust, trustworthy, then you get a reputation for not being trustworthy. How many of us can think of people that are just not trust, trustworthy? Another definition of being authentic, it means that you're not a counterfeit. You're not a fake. You're not a fraud. You're not phony. Um... I used to say the only thing fake about me is my nails but as you can see I don't even have my nails done and so it has to do with not being counterfeit now one way to recognize people that are authentic it means um, one way to recognize people that are authentic is that they make you comfortable they make you feel at ease uh, whenever I do my interior design in my home, I always like to make it to where when people walk into my space, they feel welcome and they feel comfortable. That's one way that you can identify people that are really authentic. Um, it also means or a sign is that your life lines up with your actions. Now, I know a lot of us, we are all still evolving. No, none of us are perfect. So, you know, but we have to look at places in our lives where we're not being real. We're not being authentic. And so your life should align with your actions. Um, it also means being true to yourself. Be true to you. You cannot be trustworthy. You can't be true or authentic when it comes to other people. If hell, you're not even being real with your own self. You know, if you know you've got some habits or, you know, some things that you may need to stop. Um, hey, look, observe and um, examine yourself. Okay. Examine yourself and find out areas in your life where you're really not being true to yourself. Um, another uh, way of uh, identifying someone that is authentic is they're kind, they're courteous. Now, I know sometimes, you know, I piss people off. People may say, oh, she seems to be a little bit angry or things of that nature. Well, hell, God is angry. You know, I, God is in me. And as a matter of fact, according to scripture, we are are gods that's what came out of the mouth of christ so they say i wasn't there i mean i wasn't there when he preached that sermon or when he said that that have i not told you that ye are gods but if you know i walk around here saying i am god people are going to think i'm a little loco blasphemy and things of that nature but they said the same thing about christ if that's true if those stories that we read in the bible are true hell i don't know I wasn't there. All I know is I was given a book at one time in my life and was told that it was the gospel, that you're to follow it. It's the truth, the one and only truth. Well, no, it's not the one and only truth. It's not the one and only gospel. I mean, you're going to give someone a book and say, hey, this is the only truth there is? Really? But I'm not going to go there today. But being kind, um, check it in with yourself, knowing yourself. Um, Check in with yourself and just see where you are, you know. If there's some things that are out of balance, then try and get those things in order. Another way to identify someone that is being authentic is someone that is not afraid to surrender. They're not afraid to put themselves in a position where they are vulnerable. A lot of people don't want to be vulnerable. They don't like being transparent either. That's another way to identify somebody that is really authentic. They don't have a problem with being authentic um, or being transparent. I have a lot of people that I know have misjudged me or tried to tell me what I should or should not do because I'm very transparent. What you see here is what you get when you're with me when I'm not in front of the camera. 
I don't act a certain way here and then act a certain way out here where you can't see behind the scenes. It means being true, being true, being authentic to yourself. It means surrendering, not being afraid to be transparent. What it means is, is that when you step on the scene, what you bring to the table, what do you bring to the table? It means that you bring your whole self to the table. I love that. Bring your whole self, okay? Even your quirks, even things that may seem like fault flaws, bring your whole self to the table. Now, I think I have maybe under five minutes left. So I wanna make sure that I give you five ways to become more authentic. Number one, is to increase your self-awareness. Find out about yourself. One thing that I found out about myself in the year 2020, you know, I was 58 at the time. I just recently turned 59 in um, June. Now, I know I don't look like it. Don't tell nobody, right? Like Cardi B say, look at me, look at me, look at me. Do I look 59? I think... A part of that is because I have been true to myself for quite some time. Because when you're not true to yourself, that means you're fake, you're fraud, you're phony. And that could be stressful trying to be something that you're really not. But number one, the first way to become more authentic is to first of all, increase your self-awareness. Number two is to recognize the mask that you wear. What mask are you wearing? Now, this isn't something that you have to do publicly. This is something that you can do behind closed doors. Nobody has to know. But of course, if you've interacted, which we all have with the public and with people around us on our jobs or whatever, I mean, you know, um, I know someone or used to know someone personally that wore a mask. He was one way when he was at work, but hell, he'd get home. He's a totally different person, even in the midst of some of his friendships and relationships with people. I might happen to be around and I noticed that this person wasn't even their self with their friends but with me they were totally different person a person that people would love they didn't want people to see their silly side their quirkiness which i thought had the potential to make them rich i'm like you could start your own youtube channel and become an overnight sensation but he would never allow people on his job to see that funny side of his character now, another way, so number one is to increase your self-awareness. Number two is to recognize the mask that you wear. Number three is to embrace your vulnerability. I mentioned that earlier. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. You know, just don't be afraid. Have no fear because fear is what? False evidence appearing real. It's just an illusion. There's no reason for you to feel vulnerable. I mean, to be afraid to be vulnerable. Hey, that's a risk that we take in life. Number four is to be present. Be present in the now with no filter. Don't try and put a filter on everything, right? I know we have these little uh, filters that we can put in uh, on our cell phones and make ourselves look a little more pretty. There's apps where, you know, you can get rid of all the wrinkles. But be present. Be real without any filters. And then number five is to accept feedback as a gift. Now, I've gotten feedback sometimes, you know, without asking, okay? Not criticism, but feedback. A lot of times, I may have people say something to me that I really don't think is true and I'll go to someone that I know hey is this something that you've ever noticed about me and a lot of times it's no but the bottom line is be you be real be authentic so on that note I'm gonna say child because I'm almost at 15 minutes but I want to encourage you today don't be afraid to be you speak your truth like I said in one of my other recent videos be you be authentic that is what people love the number one thing that people love about me the feedback that I've gotten is that people love me because I'm real I'm transparent all right ciao